What's up YouTube Combat here and welcome to Throwback Thursday, a new monthly feature on my channel where I'm going to go through and play all the old Call of Duties, talk about what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and their overall impact on the Call of Duty series. So we start of course with Call of Duty 4, this was the first game I ever played, uh, the first Call of Duty game I ever played and I was terrible at it. So. I decided to not use Modern Warfare Remastered footage and actually go back and play Call of Duty 4 to make it more authentic. You know, I had to dust off my Xbox 360, shove in my broken Call of Duty 4 disc, and decide to play the game, which to me was a lot more fun than just hopping into an MWR game and being killed by an XMLAR, because that's not actually how the game was back in 2007. You know, there was no DLC weapons, there was no extra camos or anything like that, but that's beside the point, I can talk about that in a separate video of course, but with Call of Duty 4, it was the first time that Call of Duty had ever done create a class, custom class, so the, before you just kind of picked what you wanted to use, you know, kind of like what the default classes are, that's what was it, what, what it was like all the time, but this was the first time they put create a class into Call of Duty, and then on top of that, they had kill streaks, which was also the first time I believe in a Call of Duty f series, which they changed how Call of Duty is now. Obviously, we know the kill streak talk all the time and how we all love kill streaks, but this was a revolution. It was the first time we'd seen this, and I still remember the first time calling an airstrike. How proud I, of myself I was because I think that was the first time I could get five kills in a row. It took me a while to get a helicopter because I was terrible at this game, but regardless of that, it. It was awesome. It, it gave you some sort of satisfaction for getting all these kills. The same way that in Halo, you know, if you got a double kill, there'd be a medal saying double kill, triple kill, overkill. And then the same with like a killing spree or killing frenzy. You had gratification for getting these kills and getting this many kills in a row. And that to me was fantastic. And um, I, I still obviously remember the, the enjoyment of calling in my first helicopter, and it's the same way with Modern Warfare 2, but I'm going to talk about that when I, when I talk about Modern Warfare 2. And that's what made Call of Duty, I think, launch into the stratosphere. This game did a very good job of gratification, gratifying your kills, making everything feel good. And overall, from a gameplay standpoint, this it hit the nail on the head. This is what started Call of Duty into becoming the main game, the top of the first person shooter genre. This was the game that started it all because it felt so more realistic. And I, I feel that in past titles, obviously, it's been less and less realistic. But for some reason, when I hop into this game, it feels realistic. It, it feels like I have to cherish my life and properly move around the map. And it just has that feel. It, it, nailed the tone it did a very good job with that i think the gun balance overall if you take out the m16 was well done overall the perk balance is in balance because of stopping power and juggernaut a lot of people don't run sleight of hand or uav jammer because it's just you're putting yourself at a disadvantage to the people running stopping power and uh juggernaut so because of that i do think there are some some negatives in the perk balance there but obviously those get fixed in later titles uh to just further my point, I, I think overall the, the game the game balancing was very solid minus the M16. And that's the one takeaway I have in this game is the, the lack of support. And you're going to hear me say this a couple times during this series where I just say the lack of support with these old games is what hurt them a little bit um, during their life cycle. Obviously, I think maybe a total of three title updates happen for Call of Duty 4, whereas now we're, we're seeing updates maybe every week, every two weeks for the current Call of Duty titles, and that's just the difference between the eras, where we didn't really demand that type of that type of update and that type of support from our developers at the time. We just kind of expected them to give us complete games, and they did a very good job of that. Obviously, this was the proper skeleton to launch Call of Duty into the stratosphere, and it had all the elements with create a class, kill streaks, and guns, along with variety of classes, and... Uh, to really start and be a proper stepping stone for Call of Duty. I don't think this was the game that launched Call of Duty into the stratosphere. I'll talk about that in a f another video where I think Modern Warfare 2 was that game. But I think this game was the first and proper stepping stone to launch Call of Duty into that proper stratosphere. And the thing was, was this was the first time they also ventured to the modern era. They were a World War II shooter before that. And this was the first time they decided to venture outside of that World War II. And I think they did it perfectly. And they really, really did capitalize on a lot of people wanting to play this type of game. 
And for me, that was huge. And I also think that a lot of other fans resonated with that very well. And that's one of the big reasons why this game is still played to this day and why people wanted to play Modern Warfare Remastered so badly. Not only do, do we all have great memories playing this game, but at the end of the day, it was a very, very solid game. And it was the first step to a modern era shooter for Call of Duty, which obviously I think they nailed. And I think they did a very, very good job with this game. So overall with Call of Duty 4, I don't think it was the best Call of Duty in the series. I don't think it's the reason why Call of Duty is this big mecca of first person shooter gaming. I think it's because of this game that it had the opportunity to get there, but it wasn't the game. It's the game that started it. It wasn't the game that made it, if that makes sense. I, I still think that Modern Warfare 2 was the reason why this game was launched into the stratosphere for sales and for being not being able to get away from it because Modern Warfare 2 was just this different phenomenon. But I'm going to talk about that in the Modern Warfare 2 video that's going to be coming out next month. Just so you guys know, I will not be doing a World of War video for this series because I don't actually own the game of World of War. I've never played it. And I don't think it's fair for me to talk about the positives and negatives of game that I don't have any playtime in because that just doesn't make any sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys support the series. If you enjoy the series, let me know with a comment down below uh, what you thought about Call of Duty 4. Uh, it what and what is your favorite Call of Duty in the franchise? Let me know with a comment down below and I hope you guys enjoyed the video If you did, can you please hit that like button if you want to see more videos from me? Please hit that subscribe button until next time guys combat signing off peace